Hi, everyone. My name is Derek Howells. Um, I'm a product designer here at Datadog. Um, going to give you a quick overview of the uh, new tool we've been developing called Notebooks. Um, they're in beta right now. Um, some Datadog customers are uh, already using them. Um, but if your organization doesn't currently have access and would like access, um, just let us know, and we'll turn on uh, notebooks for you. So what exactly is a notebook, or Datadog's version of it? Um, Alexi kind of mentioned earlier, sort of in passing, um, they're sort of similar to um, IPython or Jupyter notebooks, or R notebooks in a way. Um, so yeah, at its most basic, um, it's a cell-based document that displays content in a linear format. So that's pretty simple, um, as you can see, as you can see here. Um, but more specifically, um, a Datadog notebook um, is designed to help you tell stories with your Datadog data. So uh, for example, many of you probably use Datadog graphs uh, when you're assembling postmortems or doing other incident investigations. Um, with notebooks, you can do that storytelling completely within Datadog. So here's an actual notebook. Um, it's a bit redacted or changed. Um, but it shows a postmortem from an outage that we had uh, back in August. So we can weave together uh, text cells, like you see here at the top, with graph cells, um, you see here in cell number two, um, to establish an incident timeline, um, add commentary, and uh, enumerate items for follow-up, add other you know, pieces of context, whatever, um, whatever you want to do. So in our example here, like I said, we've, ad we've added a high-level summary of uh, the incident in cell number one, just according to like a, a sort of general template um, that has been put together. Uh, and then a graph showing um, the actual problem here in, in cell number two. And then another note in cell number three, um, and this goes on for a bunch more cells, but um, you sort of get the idea. So <clears throat> one of the most powerful features of notebooks and uh, a feature that makes them particularly well suited um, for incident investigations uh, is the ability to define multiple time frames in a single notebook. So what does that mean? Um, in a sense, and this has been touched on uh, a bit earlier today, especially by Corey at Stripe, um, notebooks combine, uh, in a sense, the functionality of Datadog time boards where you can set a single time frame for an entire board um, with um, the functionality of screen boards in a way where individual graphs can have their own time frames. So in the header of a notebook, um, you see at the top here, you can set the time frame for the entire notebook. Um, and this time frame is, is applied to all graphs by default. So if you see here, um, this highlighted section on the right, is, it says global time. It might be tough to read, but basically that means that this cell is following that time frame that's been set for all the cells by default. Um, this is the same basic way that time works in a time board in Datadog, which you're all probably pretty familiar with. Um, but then you can go into a specific cell, as you see here, and unlink it from that global time. So here, uh, the cell number two has been set to, uh, oh, instead of the past hour, whatever the past hour has been, it's set to this, a specific hour, which was in this case October 25th, from 10, 10 a.m. to 11, 10 a.m. And this cell now will follow, will, the, the data in that cell will stay uh, tied to that time frame regardless of if you change the time frame um, globally in the header of the notebook. So you can go back and relink this cell if you want to, but unless you do that, it's going to stay independent. So as you can imagine, the ability to switch between um, these two definitions of time is pretty powerful. Um, and it, it, it really lets you build a um, coherent timeline of an incident, um, or even just of a single metrics history. So um, that's, that's kind of like, I think of it as, as one of the most distinguishing, or so, sort of the, uh, maybe the most important feature of notebooks. Um, but there's a few other, that, a few other ones that um, we should probably just touch on quickly. Um, so like in the current Metric Explorer, notebooks uh, let you easily create multiple graphs for a single metric. So <clears throat> here we see this, this metric um, 
it's uh, averaged by availability zone and it's split by host. So there are five host graphs here. Um, and uh, you, we have controls that, that allow you to sort of change the size of these graphs, turn legends on or off, um, et cetera, et cetera. I won't go through the sort of specific interactions for those here, but they're pretty straightforward. Um, and they're, they're pretty easy to sort of figure out once you play around with, with notebooks for a little while. Um, uh, also, the, the query editor. This is the standard uh, query editor that we use throughout Datadog. Um, so this is how you create a graph and a cell in a notebook. Um, you don't have to learn any other sort of interactions for actually graphing your metrics. It's, it works the exact same way. Uh, it works everywhere else in Datadog. So you see here, you can define the type of visualization. Right now, notebooks uh, support time series, um, uh, time series, heat maps, and distributions. Um, hopefully, we'll, we'll add other types of visualizations um, down the road. Uh, and then you can define the metric, excel, the metric, metric itself, scope the, the query, average by tags, um, change the, the display options. And then we also have uh, advanced options in the notebook, just like we have um, elsewhere in Datadog, where you can do uh, arithmetic with queries and, and, uh, and so on and so forth. So uh, also, notebooks use markdown syntax for text cells. Um, so you can uh, define a bunch of stuff. You can, you, you can really make, make this storytelling look nice and easy to read. And um, uh, that, that's something that will be really helpful for your teammates who are you know, reading a, a postmortem that you might have put together or whatever. Um, you can style headings. Uh, embed links, create you know lists, define code blocks, embed images, which I haven't shown here, but um, do all of that stuff and and really put together um, you know a, a truly digestible uh, document. Um, so sharing with teammates is another um, important thing to talk about. So any notebook that you save is viewable by anyone else in your organization. Um, so sharing is super easy. Um, but we currently split the, the, the notebook list page into two sections. One is your notebooks, um, because really, at their core, no, notebooks are um, a personal thing that you've created. Obviously, sharing is something that um, ideally you'll, you'll do with them, but we want, we want to list the ones that you've created first. Um, and then below that, which isn't shown here, we'll list all of the other notebooks in your organization. And then you can search, you know, if you know the specific name of a notebook or the creator or whatever, um, you can search for that directly, and, and this list will be filtered um, appropriately. Um, but on the other hand, uh, a newly created notebook is unsaved by default. So <clears throat> if you want to explore data privately uh, without sharing, um, you can close your new notebook without ever saving it, and uh, basically that makes it sort of an ephemeral document. So I, I've kind of relegated this this point to a footnote here, but it's... it's um, it's actually pretty important. We imagine that a lot of Datadog users uh, will find notebooks particularly useful in this way. So right now, if you want to just you know graph a quick metric or two, or you know just explore some data quickly, um, you know you might you might create a scratch time board and you know throw a couple graphs on there, or you might go into the metric explorer and graph a couple of graphs. But notebooks sort of give you one spot to do all this. So you can just say you know. I know I want to just just quickly graph this one metric, open up a new notebook, graph it, and then if you're done, you don't want to save it, just close it, and it's gone. And it's it's never saved. And if you want to save it, then you can save it, come back to it later. You can sort of keep keep a notebook as your own personal scratch space where you've added a bunch of graphs to that. Um, it's really pretty flexible in, in how you want to use it. So um, that's, that's something that, that was also talked about earlier today. Um, and... Uh, yeah, so it's, it's, it's really this kind of union of these two ideas of um, storytelling and sharing with sort of the ability to personally and privately explore um, data. So basically, uh, notebooks are still in beta, so some of the specifics of the UI might be subject to change. Um, we're planning to add new features um, over time, obviously. Um, one of them is um, if you if you've played with them um, already, you might notice that the the ability to define time um, is 
not as robust as, as it is elsewhere in Datadog, but that's something that's going to be added pretty soon, um, where you can you can pick um, past time frames from a calendar picker. Um, and um, yeah, so basically, if if you have feedback, if you have any bugs, um, please please contact us. Um, this is our help page. This kind of lists lists a bunch of different ways that we that we have to uh, to take your feedback. Um, you can you can talk to us today, um, pull somebody aside, whatever. But basically, uh, we we really encourage people to start using them. Um, if you're a heavy metric explorer user, give notebooks a shot. Um, we, we hope that they can really do the same things for you in sort of a more intuitive way. Um, and if you are looking to share, you know, more, do more, you know, sharing and, and collaborative storytelling, you know, we, we think notebooks are a really good way um, for you guys to do that. So um, that's, that's it. I'm happy to take uh, questions. Is there integrated support for annotated snapshots? Uh, no, there isn't yet, but hopefully that's, some, that's something that we have in mind um, and I think would like to add down the road. Again, th let's thank Derek for, uh, for joining us and showing off notebooks. <laughs>